What's up YouTube, back with another new video for you guys. So I set up the rimless cube tank again. It was briefly a salt water tank, but that didn't work out too well. So it's back to being fresh water, uh, fresh water planted and it uh, looks pretty good so far. So I'll show you guys what I'm doing. For substrate, I'm using the fluval plant stratum. It's the same substrate I use in the Aquin Evolve tank, my other Nano. And I've had a lot of success with it, so I've put that in this tank as well. You know, it's the, kind of the old saying, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Uh, for freshwater plants, I'm using Pogo Stamon Helferi uh, for the foreground. It was uh, it was grown in the above water immerse form, so it doesn't have that classic star pattern that most people recognize. But it's been underwater for a couple of days now, and you can kind of start to see the leaves are getting that crinkled, uh, more familiar star pattern. So I'm sure it'll revert back to the underwater um growth pattern in, you know, in the next couple of weeks. It's nice and bright. Got it uh, spaced pretty much all throughout the front part of the tank. And then just a few clippings of a uh, high grow from my 40 gallon. And that rounds out the plants. Real simple. Um, just one piece of driftwood in here. It's actually all one piece. It's just buried right there in the middle. So even though it looks like separate branches, it's uh, one piece. Filtration is just a simple off clear 20. These things are pretty much bulletproof. Work really well. And um, what I really want to show you guys was the new light that I'm using. This is a really, really cool design. Um, this is an Eheim Power LED. And it's really cool because there's no core that connects directly to the light itself. This is the LED puck, as you can see. And um, I'll show you what I mean. So you plug it into the surge protector down there, right? You got your on and off switch right here. It's just one on, you know, one off. Really, really easy. It starts right back up. And um, basically, the electricity goes up here to this piece right here. And then it's got uh, copper on it, and then the electricity basically just travels up this metal conduit, attaches, uh, when it hits this attachment to the light, it turns the light on. Really, really a cool um, cool light, I thought. You know, you can touch this, you're not going to get electrocuted or anything. And you can actually add more than one of these on here. You can add another one if you want an even higher uh, light output. But really, really a cool design, I thought. It's very small, too. It takes up almost no space above the tank, as you can see. Um, very, very bright. It's only, it's either, it's either 8 or 9 watts, I think, but it's very bright, as you can see. Very even light distribution over the whole footprint of the tank, so it covers a 12 by 12 uh, very, very nicely. And um, it just looks really natural. I think the color spectrum is 6500 Kelvin. Uh, don't, I'm not sure on that, don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's what it's, uh, that's what it's rated for, and um, as you can see, the plants look really, really nice under this light. You got, uh, you know, the Classic LED shimmer from LEDs, and yeah, just overall a really, really cool light. And um, I liked it so much, I actually ordered another one for my Aquion tank so I can replace those power compacts. And um, yeah, that's about all there is to it to this tank. Nice and simple. Uh, right now, it's just got uh, one of my betas in here. But uh, what I'm going to try to do is try to switch this over to a freshwater uh, shrimp tank. I've never actually done shrimp before, so my knowledge base is not very high. Uh, I've been trying to do some research on it, but the, the one thing that's holding me up right now is no stores in my area carry shrimp at all. I mean, not a single one. So basically, I'm going to have to order uh, the shrimp online. So what I wanted to know is if anybody's into the uh, freshwater shrimp thing, uh, if you could give me some suggestions on maybe where you order your plants, not your plants, um, where you order your shrimp if you order them online, uh, some good distributors that you know of have had success, uh, either shipping or, you know, cheap prices. Um, anything like that would help. So if you throw that in the comments, I'd appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, that's about all there is to it. Just wanted to show you guys the new tank setup. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed your 4th of July, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out, y'all.